At that time, we were only really eating pasties and um, Mars milk. As the heart and soul of the Grammy-winning rock band Coldplay, Chris Martin has captivated millions with his heartfelt piano melodies and emotive vocals. After modest beginnings playing college bars and clubs, the band achieved global stardom in 2000 with their debut album, Parachutes, featuring the breakout hit, Yellow. It's no doubt that with the success that was to come for Chris, he would also find himself living in some truly beautiful properties. Propelled by Martin's songwriting and magnetic stage presence, Coldplay became one of the world's best-selling music groups, selling over 100 million records worldwide across eight studio albums. While widely praised for his music talents, the British musician remains a pretty private soul who shuns the spotlight off stage, preferring quiet time with partner Dakota Johnson outside of the media. It might come as no surprise then that when searching for a home to share with Johnson, Martin sought out privacy and tranquility away from his fame. He found his sanctuary along the sandy shores of Malibu, California. However, fast forward just over a year, Chris Martin has said goodbye to his Malibu abode. This property, first offered for $12.5 million in October 2020, has changed hands for a remarkable $14.4 million. Man, he made an impressive $1.9 million profit on the sale, which comes after he reportedly purchased another house just blocks away from this one for $14 million too, but with more privacy. Chris bought and sold in Malibu in mid-December. An insider said he loves the area and has been scooping up properties. He knows it's a great return on investment and he enjoys the process. Now, what was it like to live like the couple? Well, let's take a glimpse into their lifestyle from their previous Malibu home. Nestled within a three-acre gated estate, their home unfolds as a secluded oasis. Beyond the home's iron gates, lush landscaping and majestic oak trees dot these three-acre grounds, giving natural privacy as they sway in the ocean breeze. Wandering stone pathways lead to a resort-style pool and spa made for relaxing. Outside, resort-style amenities like a pool, spa, and alfresco fresco dining spaces offer idyllic spots to unwind. Inside, neutral hues and natural materials make for an airy, minimalistic feel throughout the home, with its whitewashed walls and honey-hued floors. The living room features cozy linens and a massive stone fireplace, plus window views of the peaceful outdoors. Off the elegant dining room lies a professional kitchen with marble counters and top-notch appliances. Furnishings here are clean and crisp with modern and rustic touches like wooden furniture and storage walls full of logs. Contemporary yet classic shiplap has been used to create great effects throughout the home, on walls as well as ceilings. As it creates a tranquil space in the bathroom which has his and her sinks areas and a statement freestanding tub. For entertaining, there's a games den with pool table and a home theater. In the master suite, this grants the couple an intimate escape, completely with a spa bathroom and a private patio. Aside from the master suite, this home also offers five more bedrooms. However, Chris Martin found himself in hot water due to his decision to purchase and demolish a 1970s built residence, a creation of the architect John Lautner. In 2019, the singer floated the idea of raising the existing structure, formally filing an application for its demolition. This was after he bought the house in 2014 for $14 million with his ex-wife Gwyneth Paltrow. He also owned the home after they divorced in 2016. The permit for this was granted, paving the way for Martin's vision of a new 509 square meter two-story dwelling, complete with a tennis court, swimming pool, and outdoor amphitheater. Additionally, this property was going to feature a detached garage building, a large guest house or studio, an open air carport, and outdoor stairs connecting the yard to the beach. The decision to rip the entire thing down, however, disappointed pointed some, with the Lautner Foundation taking to Instagram and saying, if you don't like it, don't buy it. Shame on Chris Martin for knocking down the Garwood residence. Another Lautner lost to the ages. Originally designed by the esteemed architect and erected in 1972, the original four bedroom home boasted exclusive access to Little Doom Beach. Touted as a true architectural gem in its 2014 listing, this property spanned 3,650 square feet with features like a swimming pool, tennis court, gym, and a private yoga studio. The expansive estate, surrounded in privacy by year-old mature trees, was positioned on the sought-after Point Doom, which is a prime location in one of the most coveted streets in the whole city. After taking a look at some of Chris Martin's properties, that's going to bring today's tour to a 
will close. But before we go, answer this question for me. Imagine having a three acre gated estate. How would you create your personal oasis for relaxation and escape? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara and if you'd like to check out another stunning house tour before you go, then stay tuned for this peek into the homes of Chris's ex-wife, Gwyneth Paltrow. Bye. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In 2016, award-winning actress Gwyneth Paltrow spent almost $5 million for a teardown property on a stunning 2.4-acre lot with views of the ocean in Montecito. After hiring the architects from Roman and Williams, who also designed her all-white New York City loft, and her interior designer friend, Bridget Romanek, Gwyneth created her dream home from the ground up. More recently, the Goop founder decided to give a look at her forever house that she shares with her husband Brad Falchuk, and the European style abode is full of light and one-of-a-kind details all over, as well as spaces like a sea blue colored spa and a show-stopping living room. While this is Gwyneth's main residence, she's owned plenty of impressive properties over the years, including her lavish Tribeca loft and her Hamptons estate, which she maintains to this day. In 2016, Gwyneth Paltrow paid about $5 million for a 2.4 acre lot with ocean views located in the upscale Montecito, California. There was a house on the property, however, it would prove to be a teardown and Gwyneth would start fresh, claiming the place had tons of potential. Fast forward to more recently and the Oscar winning actress finally unveiled the finished look of her dream home. Gwyneth hired Robin Standifer and Stephen Alesh from the firm Roman and Williams to be the architects behind her new home, as they also designed her loft in New York City. For the inside, she enlisted interior designer Bridget Romanek, who's also her close friend. After six years of building from the ground up, Gwyneth's home was finally finished. The European style mansion is now where the actress lives with her writer producer husband, Brad Falchuk, and it's simply stunning. But even before the home was completely reimagined, it wasn't too shabby. Before, the home was set to boast four spacious bedrooms, but this could obviously have been reconfigured. The original boat that was situated on the land was built in 1981 in a Palladian style, boasting a front portico built around a small courtyard, while inside there was a 45 foot long great room. Considering Gwyneth lived in London for quite some time, she fell in love with a lot of the classic architecture there. And when it came time to bring this to her home, she wanted to create a Parisian apartment set within an old European barn, something with high ceilings, flooded with lights, a place that feels generous, yet manageable at the same time. Inside her home, there's a mixture of old world elements and modern furniture throughout. Gwyneth's family home has a warm and welcoming foyer which boasts a fireplace with 18th century mantle and black and white stone floors underfoot. Moving to the living room, the impressive space has a light installation as the focal point, while there's also a wet bar made of onyx, a hammock, and a fireplace. In the formal dining room, you'll find hand-painted scenic wallpaper as well as contemporary lighting and furniture. Furnishings. The gourmet kitchen boasts a plate rack full of colorful Hermes dishes, a rolling ladder, and a range, which Gwyneth made sure was put in a central position so she can chat with her family while cooking their favorite meals like pasta for her kids. Here, there's also another fireplace, which the actress explained was also a necessity, saying, I had a wood-burning fireplace in my kitchen when I lived in London, and I loved how cozy it made everything feel, so it was a big priority for me to get one in the kitchen here. The coziness from the fireplace is contrasted with the light that streams in from all the windows, brightening the space up. One of Gwyneth's favorite rooms in the house is her powder room, which offers more hand-painted wallpaper and an antique marble sink. But what has got to be the coolest part of her home is the spa. Considering the actress and Goop founder is so into wellness, you can't be too surprised that she had a massive Parisian-style spa room installed into her mansion. The space is decked out in hand made ocean blue green tile and features a cold plunge, hot tub, steam room, and a sauna. Gwyneth says about this space, I make time to go here almost every day, every time I have to pinch myself. I cannot believe this is our house. It's such a luxury. Another highlight of the home is that now it's also full of eco-friendly features. There are reportedly 60 solar panels as well as a gray water system, for instance. 
Outside, you'll find a lush landscape with native plants, charming pathways, and a large outdoor swimming pool. There are also terraces to dine al fresco and other spaces to lounge and take in the stunning views, such as a fire pit gathering area. This is our forever house, says Gwyneth of her stunning and custom Montecito home, and it's not hard to see why. When Gwyneth was still with her ex-husband Chris Martin, they had purchased an abode in the River Lofts complex located in New York City, more specifically in the Tribeca neighborhood for $5.1 million. This was way back in 2007, and the stylish River Lofts is a two-building warehouse conversion, while Gwyneth's former unit spanned just under 4,000 square feet of space. The three-bedroom, three-bathroom spread was redesigned during Gwyneth's time here. As previously mentioned, it was done up by the same exact design team at Roman & Williams, who also are behind her current Montecito home. This New York City loft was transformed into an airy, nearly all-white ethereal space simply full of luxury. The whole unit is full of floor to ceiling windows, giving the place a stylish look, and the modern kitchen has marble counters, a center island, and a banquet style seating area. Then the living room has a swing hanging from the ceiling, built from an antique Indian door, giving the family oriented space a playful vibe. The glamorous interiors also had crystal chandeliers in many rooms, as well as colors aside from the whites, such as lavenders, grays, and silvers, and there was also a stately master suite. In terms of amenities, the building boasted a 24-hour doorman, fully equipped fitness center, private elevators, and much more. In 2017, the high-profile pad hit the market for $9.95 million, but it was previously listed a year before for much more, at $14.45 million. In the end, Gwyneth's one-time apartment sold for $10.7 million that year to an unidentified buyer. Gwyneth has also long maintained a vacation retreat in the Hamptons, which she keeps quite private. According to records, the place is in the Amagnuset area of the Hamptons, New York, and the actress purchased it back in 2006 for $5.4 million. She still owns the 7,000 square foot mansion, which boasts five bedrooms, 7.5 baths, and much more. While most of what we can see of this property is only from some aerial views, the actress has given some glimpses of it over the years, such as in 2007 when the home was in House and Garden magazine. Other highlights of the property include Nanny's Quarters, a large swimming pool, and water views. Gwyneth loves this property so much, she even wed her current partner Brad on the premises back in 2018. We also got a small glimpse at the Hamptons home when the organizing queens of the home edit worked on her place. The home edit posts on Instagram to show some photos of the rooms that they worked on here, including Gwyneth's craft and toy storage room and the pantry. The kids' room had an all-white storage room with colorful and color-coded books and toys. Aside from all the cabinets to organize, there was also a small loveseat sofa with a candy-inspired pillow. The home edit posted a photo of the kids' room at the time with the caption, We just spent the most incredible few days at Gwyneth Paltrow's Hamptons house. Our favorite project from the trip and of all time was the playroom. We divided the room into activities on the left and leisure on the right and created zones for reading, games, arts, crafts, and science. Additionally, the company also revamped the actress's pantry, making it light and airy, full of whites, wood, and glass. Since we've now gotten a peek at some of Gwyneth Paltrow's most impressive properties, including her dream home in Montecito, California, that'll bring this house tour to a close. But before we leave, answer me this. If you had your very own spa or wellness retreat on your property, what are some features you couldn't live without? Let me know how you would unwind if you were living like Gwyneth in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat.